Hey folks, welcome back to Ed's Garage. As part of my how-to series, today I'm gonna to show you how to check your brake fluid. Brake fluid, over time, actually will absorb moisture from the air and yellow. And once it starts to yellow, it loses its effectiveness. The water molecules in the brake fluid are actually compressible compared to the brake fluid itself. So as you push on the brakes, if you're not getting a really hard brake feel, it could actually be because your brake fluid is old and it's absorbed a lot of water or moisture from the air. So how to check that? It's pretty simple. We're gonna go over it right now. So the first thing you'll need to do on your vehicle, and it doesn't really matter what kind of vehicle it is, but you need to find the hood latch release. On this one, it's on the kick panel on the left. Sometimes you'll find it up under here as well. And in very rare circumstances, you'll find it on the other side of the steering wheel. But that's where it is on this vehicle. Then we're gonna pop the hood. And we're gonna look for the brake fluid reservoir. Now, most vehicles, I'm talking 99% of vehicles out there, the brake fluid is on the right-hand side, right up against the firewall. Now, I say right-hand side, but that's right-hand when you're looking at the engine. It's actually on the driver's side. So what we're gonna do, first off, we're gonna make sure that it's at the right level. Now, on this one, you can see the max line right here, and you do wanna have it filled to the max line. You don't wanna have it just down at minimum. Minimum is basically, you know, cause for concern. You should start to uh, add some more fluid. Now, what you can do, if you're trying to figure out where it is, because it is a very clear liquid, sometimes just kind of wobbling it around a little bit and you can see the, uh, the fluid kind of splashing around in that spot. Sometimes that works. Other times you need to open up the cap to figure it out. Now, we're gonna open up the cap anyway because we also want to inspect the fluid and make sure it hasn't gotten too yellow. Brake fluid that's gotten too yellow has absorbed too much water. So, opposite of humans, when the fluid is really, really clear, it's not hydrated. You know what I mean. So <laughs> if it's really, really clear, that's good. Now, one thing I want to point out, when you take this lid off, keep it very clean. If you get any dirt, sand, grime, or anything in there, it will actually cause problems with your brakes. It'll get down into your brake lines and potentially stop one of the brakes from working completely. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a very, very clean tissue. And again, make sure it's a very clean tissue. And I'm just going to put it in there and just get some of the brake fluid on the tissue just to inspect the actual color. You'll notice there's no color change in the tissue. It's still nice and clear. And the reason I've done that is because again, if it's gotten too yellow, that means that we need a brake fluid flush. So to know whether or not your brake fluid is actually too yellow or too hydrated, basically what you're looking for is anything that you would consider yellow. If it's just, you know, off white kind of, you know, slightly yellowing, you're probably fine. If it's actual full on yellow, then you've got problems. You know, anything past like a light lemonade color, you should be concerned and maybe get it checked out. Um, anything other than that, if it's just clear, obviously you're fine. Make sure the level is good and you're good to go. If you find that you're losing fluid consistently, then definitely get it checked out right away. I wouldn't even consider driving it at that point. If you're losing fluid consistently, you've got a leak, and a leak can actually develop into a very serious situation and a complete loss of braking power very quickly. So keep an eye on it, check it every time you check your oil, and you'll be safe. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and the bell icon for future videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.